This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFP. My name is Paul and I'm as always the man behind the mic, the man who brings you new and interesting movies and TV shows. And we are recording on the 23rd of March 2017 and this is the 32nd episode um, of FFP. And I have a new and exciting co-host with me. It is... <laughs> yeah, my name is Malinda Pereira. Hi Melinda, thank How's you. For, going? Yeah, good, thank good. you for being here, man. This yeah. is this is exciting. You're, it's good you're, to be here. Yeah, you're <laughs> our first te technically our first Asian co-host <laughs> representing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I, I have a, I have a, because we are in Austria. I definitely have like a, a problem with diversity, like getting the people yeah. even yeah. like I because there is not many people here, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Like the best I can do is like a Turkish person. Or something. <laughs> we yeah. are basically living in oh, Turkey. Oh, oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> or Serbian. Or Serbian. Um, <laughs> all right. And um, we watched Mission Stardust from yeah. 1967. Fucking interesting, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just so to clarify for everybody, it is because it's it's an Italian movie. It has American main characters. But the book, it was, well, the, the book series, it was, uh, which is still going on, by the way. Okay. Like the book series still exists. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. yeah they, they, they still make it, so which is crazy. This was like the first episode or something? Or? Yeah, that was the first book, basically, that they covered and they fucked it up royally. <laughs> <laughs> like, I haven't read the book, so I yeah. can't say much. No, so it's, it's um, the, the book series is called Perron. Okay. Not Mich Mission Stardust is the name of the first novel. Okay. That's why it's called Mission Stardust. And the, it's a it's a sci-fi opera basically. Um and the the book series itself is uh, ori originates in Germany, but they, they from the beginning they had uh, Austrian co-writers. Okay. And in this shows in this movie set itself there are some minor Austrians like no Austrians in minor minor capacities also involved that's why I thought it was uh, worthy of inclusion yep. and it's a crazy and I'm a big Perry Roden fan like I read about 20,000 pages of Perry Roden in my okay. life like I know my Perry Roden yeah? that's, that's, <laughs> that's crazy that's crazy yeah that's yeah it's, it's insane that's like probably reading all the Star Trek and all the Star Wars <laughs> novels together yeah I um, and yeah it's a sci-fi novel about the first mission to the moon basically and this happened before even the the moon landing, moon landing yes happened. yeah, yeah the Perry Roden predicted that like the book predicted that it was in 1969 I think the moon landing and it actually happened in yeah. 1969 <laughs> so yeah pretty pretty good pretty good guessing guessing on yeah on this part so let's move on to our first segment and that's plot. <laughs> Jesus Christ this yeah. movie fuck this movie sideways I have no clue like yeah you took notes uh, down like a crazy person <laughs> Like, I had to like yeah. I didn't like the story doesn't say where the fuck it's going like yes. you know like you have no clue what's happening over there <laughs> yes it's uh, uh, and they don't explain anything and when they explain it the sound is sometimes so bad that you don't understand names like we we, we thought that his Captain name Paper <laughs> Captain, yeah. Captain Paper like the sound cut off in the middle of his name yeah. and it sounded like it was I think it was Piper or something Piper, maybe, yeah, yeah but it was it sounded like paper <laughs> and, and that fucks with the plot um, okay so basically yeah Americans sent the first shuttle rocket whatever yeah like the tin yeah <laughs> yeah like a tin can they, they send a tin can to, to the moon because they detected heavy Alloys there? Yeah, like however, some materials. However, like it's on the back side of the moon. <laughs> like you you have to get a mass spectrometer onto a satellite, send that satellite 
on the backside of the moon <laughs> in 1966 yeah, and like, then detect a material that they don't even know about. Like maybe they were just guessing, okay, that's going to be there and yes. I'm going to go get it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I want that metal, man. And then suddenly the bad guys come out. Yes. No yeah. wonder what the fuck they want from it, like oh, to they, be they, the they, master uni yeah. masters of universe. Yeah. <laughs> As we found out later, that, yeah. was his, that was his plan to be a master of the universe. He wanted to be He-Man, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> the, the James Bond villain wanted to be He-Man. Oh, yeah, so we have... Okay, let's go through the parties, I guess. You have the Americans, yep. which are on the spaceship. Yep. Then you have the aliens, which are on the spaceship on the moon. Moon, already. Then you have the, the African Federation an Army. Army. <laughs> And then you have the, the bad guys, the James Bond villains. Yeah. Like you have already, you have four factions. And you also have the operation team, which oh, yeah. halfway through the movie disappears. Disappears. Like <laughs> they don't give a fuck how it happened to the space shuttle. Say, like, they just say, oh, yeah, fuck it. Like they're gone. Easy, like, yeah. <laughs> no newscast we, about it. We don't like, exist anymore. Yeah, like, fuck it. <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, I totally forgot about them. <laughs> I totally forgot. They, they showed up in the in the first half of the movie. They talked and did yeah. and did stuff, and then they were just gone. There was a conference. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow! Yeah, two, thirty-eight before the fucking space shuttle takes off. Like, yeah. there is a conference, and nobody's decision was taken into consideration. Nope, like, nothing. We just want to let you know we're yeah. going to do it, like, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, and we're going to start in 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like, countdown is in 45 minutes. Yeah. What? We only have, like, 40 minutes to make make something happen. It's a rocket launch. You you planned it over years. You don't have that kind maybe, of... Maybe they were building the rocket, like, in some uh, scientist's backyard, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, the what was it? The astronaut's wife? No. Something. That movie where a guy builds his own rocket in the backyard. It is, nah. a, it is okay. actually the plot of a movie. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe this is something like that. You yeah. Know? Oh, fuck this. Yeah. So they, they land on the moon. They find, they, they, they roll out with their vibrator yeah. sex toy <laughs> car with the crazy it, wheels. It really looks like a huge deal, though. <laughs> I don't know why it, they couldn't have it. Not a new one. Yes. <laughs> it is a used it's one. It's a used one, yeah. Definitely a used. <laughs> this was a pre used. Japanese sex toy that they transformed into a car <laughs> and then they roll out in the it's like the buggy from 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 Apollo 14 16 <laughs> I don't know anymore but yeah fuck all right so they they roll out with that they get captured by a force field transported into the alien ship and there they find the arcanoids yeah <laughs> <laughs> which i have to get give them credits here First of all, they look like Arcanoids. Okay. Like the description in the book, basically. Never met one, so... <laughs> no, the description is basically they're space elves. Okay. Like they have long silvery hair, they're tall, they're okay. arrogant, they're very smart. Okay. And But arrogance is there because... So they, with that, they had Because the empire existed for 10,000 years. Okay. They, they got really arrogant and like they were the dominant force in the... In, the, in, in their in, galaxy. In the galaxy, basically, for a long, long, long time. And they suffer from from degeneration, basically, okay. which is also part of the plot because yep. one of the guys has leukemia. Why? <laughs> Why is it leukemia? They could have picked anything else. <laughs> or was leukemia like really scary in 1966? Yeah. Well, if this movie that's that's a real question. If this movie was made in 1980, I don't know, 89, 1990, would, would did he would he have space aids? <laughs> <laughs> like the next scary thing yeah. to that is like okay here's space aids <laughs> instead of leukemia because in 1966 nobody there, there was no aids back yeah. then so so he they 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 talk with the aliens and and then they make it priority like they they leave their mission and let's go find some oh yeah leukemia yeah, <laughs> serum. serum yes anti leukemia serum that somebody in Mombasa has developed don't forget the guy knew that there was a leukemia serum oh, yes. in Mombasa but yes. they didn't know what the fuck is diamonds are huh? yeah <laughs> <laughs> wow also i for, for the longest time i couldn't figure out who of the american pilots was who 
because they all look, look basically the same. same. Yeah. Not only have they the same uniform, which is fine, yeah. that that makes sense for a space a space mission, but they they all look like exactly the same. Like they cast the same guy, basically. For I, was, I was wondering if in the 1960s everybody looked the same. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's, it's all that smoking and drinking makes makes you look the same. <laughs> That's what's that's what's what's happening. Like you, yeah. you look like a fifty-year-old when you're thirty. Uh, yeah, <laughs> because there was plenty of smoking in this movie too. But we, we're going, we're coming to that back later. Yeah. Um, so they they want to get that leukemia medicine from Mombasa, the land in in the in Mombasian some desert. Desert, like yeah, like does Mombasa even have a desert? I have no clue, man. Like yeah. never heard about. No. Like having a desert yeah. anywhere nearby. So the Mombasa. land close by, but they were... Like, they couldn't figure out, apparent with the side ship. Like, yeah. the alien have a side ship, which is still very fast. And that also was kind of in the book, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah. Not this fast. Nope. And they also <laughs> landed in the Mongolian desert. Okay. Not in the... Not in the... Mombasa. Not this. in Mombasa. Like, they, they misread something <laughs> in the book and they're like, Mombasa. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what this Mongolia is. Mongolia, it's Mombasa. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's <laughs> third world countries. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. There's, there's a desert there. Uh, <laughs> that's the most important thing. And uh, the, the African Federation Army has an outpost there for yeah. some reason <laughs> like there's two officers with like what three six? three or four uh, soldiers yeah. Like, yeah who are all black for yeah. some reason two officers are white and yeah. the, uh, the soldiers are black yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I'm, ah this is a 60s movie <laughs> <laughs> or 70s movie and they they no 60s movie but they they um, try to cr crash into the spaceship yeah, they were trying to approach the spaceship, <laughs> but, but there's a force field, an energy like yeah barrier, barrier like yeah, <laughs> totally invisible, of course, and they, they because you have to save up on special effects. Of it's way, course, it's way cheaper to make an invisible wall. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like the the special effects guy done, <laughs> <laughs> done. I'm 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 done with this. <laughs> And they, they, they crash against it and then they try to fire against it, which is also fails. And then the, the Thora, the, 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 the Arconite lady, yeah. uh, hovers it away. Oh, we totally uh, forgot the makeout session, the first one. <laughs> Perry Roden is a fucking closer. He, he, three minutes of talking with her and she rejects him all the time like we are not interested in your race and you are too primitive to <laughs> mate with us and he's like too primitive lady and he kisses her right on the mouth L let me show what's primitive yeah, about us <laughs> yes. exactly like she accuses him of being an ape and he behaves like, like an, an ape. ape it's so funny <laughs> so fu and she's like ooh uh, that's actually my fetish or mm -hmm. something like that and for no fucking reason I don't know why she was changing uniforms oh yeah like yes <laughs> yes this scene was amazing oh so good because she undressed in front of him and then it cuts to him and then back to her and she has she's like a screen <laughs> that, that covers like from the nipple downwards yeah and it, it looked like an Austin Powers scene because it had the li backlight, so you could see... See, everything's si going on. Yeah, the silhouette, but it's like, it's PG-13, guys. <laughs> no nipples here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, yeah, they they, they um, fly again, I think. Yeah, they flew again to, uh, like, uh, to... Earth. Closer to Mombasa. Yeah. Then they tried to buy a car. Yeah, the which guys. was also amazing. <laughs> like we really needed those ten minutes of car buying, like, trying to like sell it to her, like exchange it to a diamond. And yeah, like if this movie would have been made with the same scenes today, it would have been forty minutes long. Yeah, like, of course. Like, <laughs> they stretch out follow. everything. Everything is so <laughs> stretched out. It's the so only thing they didn't stretch out is going to the space and coming back. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> that happened instantly. <laughs> and the rocket was as fast as the alien spaceship <laughs> in the scenes. Yep, of course. Yeah. <laughs> we have to be like, you know. So they, they, they go to a skeevy, uh, to a skeevy car merchandise sales, <laughs> salesman who 
so, like look like probably payment? probably look like you know he stole the car from somebody and then oh, selling totally, it. Oh, <laughs> totally, totally, totally. He's a gangster, definitely, <laughs> but a shitty gangster. Shitty. <laughs> Because he he has four guys who are incompetent at fighting the two American dudes. And the one guy who has a gun pulls it out in the last minute when the other guys already have the upper hand. After everything has happened. Like, yes. You know? Oh, yeah. And we totally forgot. And a smartphone. Per- yeah. Perry Roden got a smartphone from Thor, which has uh, screen-to-screen uh, uh, communication, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is basically Skype. Mm-hmm. And then it has three buttons. One levitates... One makes a force field, yeah. and what does the third button? I totally uh, forgot. Like the <laughs> third button is to communicate. Oh, oh, yeah, it's a th- yeah, it has three apps installed. And it wasn't a coincidence. It has the fucking German flag on it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it had like three colors. The, the, the buttons were in three colors, and it was coincidentally maybe yeah. uh, uh, the German flag. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and he uses that in, at the end against the gun wielder, and they subdue him. And then you have uh, the car and uh, like a couple of dollars, uh, pounds. Yeah. Yes. Like. Yes. Five hundred pounds plus one thousand pounds for the car, and then he still g- gets another hundred pounds from him because yeah, he wants he just, to buy cigarettes. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> They didn't show us buying yes. cigarettes, yes. but I assume that that's that's for well, yeah, a hundred pounds worth of cigarettes, yeah. <laughs> which in, in the 1960s. Yes, yeah. that's a lot of cigarettes. Jesus, they fill the car up with cigarettes, yeah. <laughs> and then they go to the doctor, where which has where, which uh, which has this magical serum. Yes, yes, the anti leukemia medicine, which totally works. Yep, yep, and they they convince get- him to go into space with. Them, yep. but he has to take his two two assistant like yes. the lovely beautiful ladies yes <laughs> oh and at that point we already know that there's a mole oh, yeah. inside the American crew how I don't know how they inserted the James Bond villains inserted them into a space program yeah. but sure like it was never shown in the movie so yeah. let's assume like like the, yeah. he went through the whole training yeah. <laughs> and everything and he he was apparently you at that point back then you had to be military you had yeah. to be like an air pa- uh, an airplane pilot or something they they didn't shoot jeff goldblum back in back into space back then <laughs> yeah that wasn't the jeff goldblum age of, yeah. of spe- space exploration they had like every normal motherfucker like you no, if no, some shit go down, like you know. However, he made it onto this plane. It's bullshit, <laughs> and they they fly. And they okay. Uh, they took it off. They and then yeah. They, they, they take the two nurses with them because the doctor insists. And, and then they, the then the military attacks. Yes, with sirens that yeah. are that which is not existent in the car. Yeah, but like it was you the sound effect. Yes. <laughs> And they wildly shoot at them, and then you have, we have a great car chase scene. Yeah. <laughs> amazing car chase scene where Perry? I think it was Perry. Or Bull. I don't know. I don't, one of the two guys jumps out with two canisters of gasoline. Yeah, like of the, gasoline. Ma- the major uh, role. What's his name? Like the main, main character. Perry Roden. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the guy. He, he jumped out and he made like a weird gas canister explosive device that not really worked (laughs) but it worked because the villains are stupid and just stopped for the one guy instead of chasing down the car and then they start shooting yes uh and when the bad guys comes like they shoot the military guys in the back three three guys just shoot like 12 military guys like you know professionally (laughs) trained doesn't matter they don't have somebody to check their six. <laughs> nothing. They have. Some, <laughs> it's so nothing. bad. It's so bad. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. And then they they um they make it to the to the to the ship. They heal. Like apparently the bad guys even carried the real <laughs> serum. Serum, like you for know, for some reason. We wanna steal whatever we're gonna steal, but we're not gonna make a person die for it. Yes, yes. <laughs> we're hum- humanitarian uh, bad guys. Yeah. We're the Red Cross for profit. <laughs> they were at hats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, totally. Yes, some of the villains, not all of them for some reason, but most of the henchmen, instead of having a uniform or just being normal henchmen, they all have they had, like, red hats for, for, for um, identification, I guess. Because so it's easy to, for us to realize, okay, these are the bad guys. Yes. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. So they, they, 
And it turns out the doctor is one of the villains. The two uh, nurses are villains. And who... What was his job anyways? The mole's job? Like he was about... I think he was supposed to tell, okay, we are in the moon and we are in the... Yeah, yeah, no, no. That he was an info just the information. information yeah. But what was his actual job on the space mission? Like, no clue, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, like, it was mentioned somewhere in the conference, but... Yeah, and I don't know Maybe because like that, two words I don't know because that guy didn't exist in the books Yeah, okay <laughs> So I have no clue either Or he did, maybe, I don't know I don't give a fuck, really, <laughs> at that point Because this is the worst representation This of this was the point we were like, how many minutes? Uh, yes, like, yeah. yes, we're like, oh, and then we're like, oh no, 20 minutes? <laughs> because this, oh yeah, the, the doctor uses a flash bomb Yeah like, <laughs> Like a fucking like the ninja magician, like or nin yeah, he's like, like the ninja. I'm he disappeared. Yes, but and he was still there yes. un un until the smoke was gone. You know, yes. <laughs> he, he threw it, waited like two seconds, and then turned around and ran away with the <laughs> flash and the smoke were already basically gone again. And it, it didn't matter anyways because they were all knocked out by the gas, yes. right? <laughs> Why did he throw that thing? Maybe like you know for a low budget they got yeah. it and they wanted to use it somehow yeah. you know like ah, I'm gonna fucking use it like <laughs> we have no. a flash bomb still in the arsenal may 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 maybe that was the guy's dream you know use yeah. this in a movie like yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagined the, the the discussion between the the uh, director and the special effects guy like you want a flash bomb there yeah. are you sure and he's like. Yeah, yeah, we, we still have one, right? Yeah, and he's yeah. like, yeah, but it, we had it left over from a ninja movie. <laughs> Why do we want to use it here? Doesn't matter. The, the, the doctor wanted to make something made. cool. And, and then probably the doctor went home and said, Dad, I made it. Like, yeah. <laughs> See me now, bitch. <laughs> What you say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so they... Um, Heal Chris? No, what's his name actually? The the, the, the big guy. Yeah, they like, say don't. Uh, they, they always say Chris for some reason. Some reason. I, like, the aliens I didn't Chris. catch the name really. Yeah. Like the names are like I'm always bad with names. Oh so. yeah, I'm bad with <laughs> names too. But this movie throws so many characters <laughs> in your face, yeah. and you don't like. Oh, the president of the fucking Mombasa, whatever it well, is. The, 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 the guy in the wheelchair. <laughs> yes, he shows up for one scene, and you never see him again with Trump as his <laughs> butler. Butler, butler Trump. <laughs> that I guess, was awesome. I guess watch the movie for Butler Trump. Yeah. I guess that's. <laughs> Like in the last movie we did, we had uh, kept uh, we had a doctor that looked like Colonel Sanders. <laughs> yeah, but this is pretty close yeah, to, okay. to to that. Oh, oh man! So they they kidnapped the the girl. Girl. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, she has a robot ruse up her sleeve. Yeah. Laura, the Arcanite lady, she she activates the 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 androids, robots, mm -hmm. robots, yeah, the robots, the robots, and the robots have laser eyes. That can disappear things. Or just, yeah, I think that should be a disintegration field, like it vaporizes them basically. Yeah, something But they like just, the effect is just they, they vanish. <laughs> <laughs> And they scream while they vanish, like, no! <laughs> Maybe they Not were thrown me. into another dimension, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> so they. Oh, I need, I need some coffee, man. Yeah, of This, course. I, I drank a shit ton of coffee because this movie was sometimes so boring uh, yeah. um yeah so the, the the robots overwhelm the the intruders and push them out but the one the mole escapes with um with with thora yeah knocks her out and then the force field is deactivated he flees with the car and yeah. the robot one robot Now the, the military the, start, like yeah. the military was camping outside to for a moment yes. to charge. So yes. the military charges then, yeah. and then the robots make the military disappear. Yes, <laughs> like, like it he does shoot, nothing, and it doesn't make make any different difference if it's one person yeah. or two cars <laughs> and 20 people or a tank. It's always the same pew effect, and it disappears. Also, to take you back, remember, yeah. like, when the first time when they uh, landed in Mombasa? Yes. Like, when the cap, like the captain or the general comes in and 
the, 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 the lady turns a fucking mountain into yes. crystallized oh, carbon. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. I, wow. I totally <laughs> forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. Oh, this... Oh. <laughs> Fuck this movie. Um, Fucks up your brain, man. How the shit this does with this yeah. work, like, you know? Um, so then coming back, like, uh, the, the, the girl uh, was taken by the James Bond villain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Questioning about the yes. belt. Yes, yes. Explain the plot. I'm, in, in the meantime, I'm going to come up with the secret category. Okay. You keep talking. So, about yeah, like, and in the meanwhile, uh, Captain, what is it called, Perry? Uh, yeah, Perry Roden. So yeah. he goes and act- reactivates the the energy field, and then yeah, like the the the, the bad guys want to know what does the belt do, and this yes. this mole from the team yeah. somehow press the button for like what like for uh, the GPS signal, GPS like, signal, <laughs> basically yeah, homing beacon, and they find out where they where that is. They fly the spaceship over there. In truth, the, the Perry Roden finally gets like a cool Arcanite combat yeah. suit and pull as well. They overwhelm them. The, the, the fake Star Trek. Huh? Uh, uni- the, the, the fake Star, Star Trek, Trek uniforms. Yes, knock off, knock off Star Trek <laughs> uniforms. They start to shoot the, the whole compound up and the bad guy just gives up Thora and flees. <laughs> like like while, he's like... While crushing them all yes. in between the doors. Nope. <laughs> and then... then he flees into the compound. Thor is pissed. They go on the spaceship and destroy the, the whole The whole thing. city. Well, no, oh, it's not an the island. Whole city, it's okay, like the an island. island with the, comp- the evil guys. Like, they, they explode basically Dr. Monroe's or Dr. Yeah. No's island. Yeah. It's basically like Dr. No. Yeah. They, they just and they also found the real doctor. Right. Yeah, because of course oh. they did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the, the, they, they take them back to Chris. He completely healed them, but yeah. the, the serum already worked. It works like you yeah. know. <laughs> sure, leukemia safe like that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's 1966 uh, medicine for yeah, you. No, no big companies. Nah. It's one guy who develops one serum against and it leukemia. Works like a charm. <laughs> yes, on aliens <laughs> with space leukemia. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then they have like a, a, a goodbye scene, and Bull checks on Perry. Nah, like before Wait. that, like oh. the villain comes back, even right. though the fucking Fuck. island is yes. destroyed. I, I, he shows up I, in the. <laughs> I blocked that out. I, I wanted it to be over. I blocked that out. <laughs> he shows up in this ship, yeah, like with the fucking gun, like, and then <laughs> a revolver, <laughs> and he was thrown out to the space to swim forever. <laughs> yes, <laughs> totally forgot about yeah. that. Yeah, then they so land that? on the moon. The the crew goes back to the stardust. Yeah. And they, uh, Perry makes out with it, Thora, and yes, that's the end of the movie. That was that was it, like yeah. And there was nothing about the operation team still, nope. like you know. No, nope. no, like oh guys, we're back we, after we a few back, days. Yeah. After a few days, uh, sorry for for that. We we lost cell reception yeah. up here or something. <laughs> they they just found their way home, I guess. <sighs> Again, they're on the dark side of the moon. They shouldn't be even be able to communicate with Earth at all, yeah. on that side. You have the whole moon. Ah! Ah! <laughs> all right, yeah. all right, okay, cool, cool down, Paul. Yep. All right, so that was the plot. I that guess. was the yeah. plot. Oh, thank fucking god! <laughs> we went through that quickly. We we were re- very very uh, focused. But again, the yeah. thing is, even the, the fucking movie is like two and a half hours long. No, or it's two a, hours. So what? Uh, Ninety uh, minutes. Nearly nearly two hours. Uh, yeah. it's, I think it's one fifty or something. Yeah, yeah, it's very close to two hours. So, but but like they stretched out unnecessarily. Oh, like that that movie was like totally stretched out. totally stretched out. Oh. yeah. Oh, it's uh, one hour ninety five on IMDb. But I think okay. we have a longer version for some reason. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> nope. Nope. This movie. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay. Let's go on to something. That was really exciting. <laughs> that was cinematography. <laughs> All right, um, we're gonna keep the special effects for later. <laughs> but wow, was this a shittily shot movie? Ah. Like everything, the, the the start sequence with the astronauts, which looked like it was shot uh, like stock footage that they, yeah. they, they just the, the, bought the, the, the. and inserted into the movie. Then when they started up the engine, the camera just shook. Shaking in, like instead <laughs> of the pilots, like the pilots are totally 
Like still, and yeah. the camera was just moving. Yes, yes. Like, oh god, damn it! Like, have somebody move the chair, <laughs> and the camera is still. Nope. Yeah. And then they, 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 the, 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 the costumes. The costumes. Oh fuck the costumes! And it was like you know they they didn't even know that how the space things work. Like they had to mention, okay, you should put on your helmets now. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Um. What else? Oh yeah, space. Space looked fucking ridiculous with the visuals. Yeah. Yes. Like, <laughs> like the, the 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 engines in space, the the jets of the Stardust spaceship. Yeah. The the flames went up. Like yeah. the, the flames went straight for a while and then they moved up. Like yeah. there was gravity in space. Yeah. Like this wasn't filmed in outer space or and, something. And when they were landing, it was a fucking 90 degrees flip. Like oh yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no. I wrote down Tony Hawk Pro or astronaut <laughs> <laughs> because it was a perfect 180. <laughs> and also like yeah. the walking on the moon. Oh, there no. was no gravity. I mean, there was like total yeah. normal gravity. Like. Yeah, like we couldn't put them on wires or something. That would have been too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just make them move awkwardly and slowly. <laughs> oh. What? I said something. Big Panther movement. Oh, yeah, they totally moved like big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da -da -da -da. yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Then, then, the the oh, at at one point, the the one of the scenes just cut off. Like where the villain was explaining what he was doing, yeah. and it just cut off in the middle of him talking, and it switched to something else. <laughs> like the the guy on the cutting room floor was like, "Oh fuck, I fucked this up. I fucked this up." Nah, nobody's, nobody's gonna know. notice. <laughs> nobody's gonna notice. Nobody's gonna notice. Yeah. Nobody's gonna care. Um, yeah, and and the film that they used sometimes it's totally washed out. Yeah. Sometimes it's really colorful, mm -hmm. but in like this oversaturated way where it looks terrible. Like yeah. It looked like a shitty 1970s TV show. Yep. Yeah. It was shot on film and everything, but it looked like it was made by somebody who had like the minimal requirements to make a movie. Yeah, the, 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 the way the, the, sh uh, the military tanks were flying. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, so first the Jeep. Yeah, the first, Jeep. <laughs> first the Jeep where, where they... <sighs> Oh wow! Yeah, no, this this is. I, I, there's not much to say about you know, It shows you, I guess, what it wants to to see, but it has no interesting shots, nah, no nothing. dolly shots, n nothing that makes it really visually appealing. In the end, there's nothing there. You just want everything to like, looks know, cheap. Everything looks cheap. I, I or really borrowed. wonder what's the budget for this movie. Like. Yeah, there's. There, uh, well, on IMDb there's no budget. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like they don't even, they don't even, they don't even want to tell you how much they spent on this. The English tagline for the movie is the science fiction film that staggers the imagination. Yeah, <laughs> it staggers my imagination. Like, how is this movie existing? Yeah. How did, with what? what like, budget? who watched this movie? Yes, like. yes exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Why did they hire? Uh, why did they make it in Italy? For, for like, okay, I guess because back then it was really cheap to shoot in Italy, and they didn't have. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe yeah. it was sponsored by the mafia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was one of my, our ideas that it was just like a ploy to wash money <laughs> to launder money. <laughs> Because that's 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 a way you could do it, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, uneventful cinematography, really forgettable. Um, yeah, and let's move on to sound. <laughs> like there is sound throughout you the whole loved, fucking movie. You loved it. <laughs> ah, God, like I have no clue what drugs like the yes. sound engineer was oh, using yeah. oh, in the 1960s. We to totally forget forgot the. Back to cinematography, just quickly. The intro, which was just crazy colors, yeah, like going everywhere, um, <laughs> like a really trippy LSD dream. Pu pu public service announcement: If you're on drugs, don't watch, watch the introduction. <laughs> oh, I guess hardcore drugs. Yeah, like, if you're on alcohol, it should be fine. Yeah, it's okay. It should be fine. But, but still, yeah. Okay, so sound. Yeah, there's sound everywhere. There's so much sound in space. That you don't even realize that it's space. Space, yeah, yeah. like every 
single small thing has his own sound. Yes. The only time the movie doesn't have sound is like there is a the villain few scene. minutes. Nah, no, there is a few minutes that sound is absolutely absent. Yes. Yeah. Like I think the sound engineer just took a break. Yeah. Break to piss. Yeah. Like take a piss. Yeah. Or like yeah. <laughs> just couldn't be bothered anymore yeah. to fix that. Well, fix it. He totally didn't fix anything else because, again, you don't understand some people what they are saying. Like the the sound goes in and out. The the music is sometimes very loud compared yeah. to. It the was like he was playing some keys just because. Like yeah. he wants. There is a. Oh yeah, the, the the two minute scene where he basically fell asleep on two <laughs> notes and it's like <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Here's yes, your coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. And uh, he then the 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 car, the, the space car made weird noises. Oh yes. Like then the lasers make weird noises. Everything, everything has, has a ev- weird noise. Even everything. when something is burning down, oh, like the, the signal system. Yes. It had a weird noise. Yeah. Like. Oh, the helicopter that sounded like, like a lawnmower, <laughs> basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow yeah no 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 maybe they just wanted to have fun making this movie like yeah. you know yeah it's it, like a cool like, college student yeah, like, project we are right now high on something so yeah. let, why not let's make a movie like let's yeah. get some actors yeah and, yeah, and yeah, yeah 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 shoot some of it in africa because <laughs> it's even cheaper than italy <laughs> like that's probably why they couldn't go to mongolia because it was Ud- uh, it was uh back then Cold War. Yeah. They couldn't go they to couldn't Mongolia go, yeah. to shoot an Italian yeah. movie, so they went to Fuck Africa. Like. To, <laughs> went to Africa. We, we're not gonna die shooting this shitty movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. So, um, what else about the sound? Is there, is there uh, something that... that nothing. That, that, it's just annoying. That's all like... When you the dialogue. The dialogue was uh. atrocious at, <laughs> at times. What was it with the masters of the universe? At one point, the, the villain says, we could have been masters of the what universe. Was? Like the worst thing... Reference that, ever. Yeah. Then, and to a thing that didn't even exist back then. Yeah. Then... Like, then what else there was there was oh the the flirting scenes between Perodon and Thora yeah. which were nearly unwatchable yeah. let's be honest <laughs> like, like really childish back then back then that was cool but now, now it would be assault yeah that would course. be assault when if you do that with somebody <laughs> else like it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman if somebody yeah, the does the pickup line which disease should i get yes. to to be in your clinic what was it oh, oh yeah what is he no, or what condition what, 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 what disease should i have to be treated by you, you? yeah syphilis maybe <laughs> back then totally a, a thing that could happen yeah. <laughs> astronaut you have syphilis don't I'm, worry i'm just waiting to meet a doctor man somewhere yeah. i go i'm gonna oh, use this so much in space and there's the suit i can't touch it <laughs> yeah no fuck the sound fuck the sound yeah. the soundtrack is crazy <laughs> with with like a like a chorus sometimes where you, you have women doing like yeah, this some bum, bum, yeah, yeah. Bum, bum, there, there, there were some noises. sounds and then uh, it didn't some the, the sound the the, the, the the music didn't match the scene like dramatic scenes sometimes had upbeat music yeah. in it and uh, it doesn't work with yeah like the movie and the synchronization yeah the lip syncing is terrible yes at some points yes and yeah so we're gonna go to a very hard part now okay. for us and that's best moment <laughs> okay i don't know about you paul but <laughs> my best moment is when the doctor fucking throws the flash bomb like <laughs> i was like why did just that happen? What, this what movie happened? just, just got that, suddenly like, way better. That escalated too <laughs> fast. Yes. Okay, yeah. That, that's a really yeah, good yeah. moment. That, oh, fuck this. Uh, yeah, it's really difficult because that, that, like the acting doesn't stand out at all. Nobody acts. Yeah, like well, I guess Thora as the like snobby... Yeah, she, she did a good job. She, she, she was kind of okay. Perry Roden, again, I couldn't distinguish from Bull like... 80% of the time. So I guess they were so interchangeable <laughs> that I didn't give a fuck about the acting or anything. Um, 
for me, I guess it's so difficult. The flash, the flash bomb was really awesome. <laughs> The flash bomb was amazing. What about the guy being kicked out of the helicopter? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. The build up, like, okay. So, script writing 101. If you introduce, like, in the what second scene or third scene of the movie, if you introduce a villain with a sidekick and the sidekick talks, you have that sidekick fight at some point. Nope, not in this movie. <laughs> they fly high enough so that he could parrot and could. Push, Just out, push him out, push him out, kill him, but jump out himself and be Nothing totally happened. fine. Totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. He lands on sand. The other guy lands yeah. on a rock and is dead. Yeah. And that was an amazing scene. <laughs> but I also really, really, really like the scene where they, uh, where, where the robot just kicks ass. <laughs> <laughs> Like the, 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 the robots before him, the three go down like bitches, but yeah. he's like, pew, pew. He kills the two nurses, the fake doctor, 10 or 20 soldiers, people, yeah. two vehicles, a tank. Yeah, n and nobody touches him yeah. even, yeah. And then he even is smart enough to not no. shoot Pierre Perry, yeah. which is, yeah, that it was, was like. That was a really smart, yeah. cool robot. Maybe that was the robot that at the beginning played cards against Bull. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Oh yeah, there's card playing yeah. in this game, <laughs> like for five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, like that happened in the meantime, like when uh, Perry was kissing the kissing, yeah. kissing for for the first time, getting that alien strange. <laughs> yeah, but what is it with space captain in the 60s and always banging the space like it's <laughs> it's, it's 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 him it's it's Perry Roden it's the because in the book Thor and him actually can't get together and have a child okay. but way later okay. way later in the story that that doesn't happen for a while yeah <laughs> maybe that's like a requirement are you willing to bang the alien that you meet? Yeah. <laughs> to yes, establish con first contact. <laughs> yes, sir. F first, to establish first penetration. That's that's the thing. Yeah. And that's why the only in case if they get if if you get taken over by them, you can still say I fucked. Them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Totally. We. Yeah. <laughs> Even if they destroy Earth, which is fine, we can yeah. we can say we banged that race. <laughs> To explore new boat to, to explore. And we are not primitive at all. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> to explore new booty. To go where no man has gone before. <laughs> Basically that, right? So, yeah, yeah, that's that's my best moment, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so let's move on to our secret category, yeah. and that's super duper special effects and technology. <laughs> because there was some bullshit in this movie. Oh man! Like you, you had the what was it? The the the, the, the glass. glass. The, yeah, the force field with the glass plate yeah. that they just pushed against the guy. And then they had the bread on the glass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even be bothered to like spray it with something, cool it down, that it doesn't yeah. fog up. No, nope, <laughs> no, nope, nobody's gonna notice that. Except for us, who were watching the movie, and I was like, oh yeah, there's breath on that glass. Um, the glass was used to simulate the force field, because Roden pushed the force field against the dude and the dude against the wall. And I guess that was kind of cool, Yeah. in a 60s way. Yeah, yeah, yeah the way they did it, it was yeah, it that something there. Yeah, that was a really... I guess okay special effect is practical effect especially considering that the special effects especially for the especially <laughs> especially especially for the for the for the spaceships were horrendous <laughs> like the flying scenes except especially when they were in space they were like cut out and then pasted <laughs> yeah. frame by frame on it and it looked so fucking like fake, fake. It, it, so a fucking lot of things looked a lot of fake things yeah so. but so fake. I don't know. So what I fake. fake. <laughs> yeah. Then, then you had the uh, what was it? Yeah, the hovering. Every time they hovered something, mm. it looked weird. Especially the guy with the gun in the in the in the brawl scene who shot in 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 the air and ah, it pushed yeah, him yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with every shot, it pushed him back. <laughs> like he took aim and everything, but that yeah, he was just getting going back. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, 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 wow! And that that really ruined the perspective yeah. as well. Oh, mm. 
what else? There was, uh, yeah, the f the flip was sweet. The flip in space when the Stardust the mission the, the Stardust yeah. spaceship flipped over the Tony Hawk yeah, yeah, scene yeah. that was okay yeah. I guess. But like uh, when you when, when the small ship like the the, the, the spare little ship bubble yeah going ship. on to the main one, it oh, wasn't yes. fitting. <laughs> yes, it still had it, its legs extended. Because when it m moved outside in the starting sequence, it was fine. Yeah, it was because fine. Because it didn't fine. have the legs extended. Yeah. Which but like when it was going down. Yeah, the legs didn't fit and you totally saw that it was just moving behind uh, the yeah. space. <laughs> and it looked like a fucking octopus. <laughs> yeah, it, no, a steampunk octopus. It was all <laughs> bronze with those green, blue... Bubbles, bubbles like, on as it. windows. Yes, and then the multi-tinted... Uh, elevator <laughs> that had like all the colors of the rainbow paint. Who did that painting job? Really, that looked like somebody. It was painted like by a the, six year old. Yeah, like or maybe they just used like you know used paint cans. Like okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there is a little bit of this, little bit of that. Yeah. Let's just use it for the elevator of. This oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually go back on my favorite scene. My favorite scene, oh, my, my best moment was when they met the fake doctor and he's like, I'm in the middle of an important experiment. And he just has Have the coffee. Co has coffee on the Bunsen burner, basically. <laughs> and like, he prepared, and he has a huge uh, 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 Allen flask like, now. Yeah, well, like I, I, I forgot my camera. Some too, breaking but... bad shit. Yeah. Like, standing right <laughs> set up next to it. And doesn't doesn't that's not the experiment yeah. the experiment is the coffee, coffee. <laughs> that was my favorite moment <laughs> i guess and the super hot nurses yeah jesus they they Wonder like where they found those nurses yes it's it italy you know yeah. 1960s italy like you are getting a role you are getting yeah. a role <laughs> you are an ugly woman you don't get a role but you get a role you're an ugly american you get a yeah. role <laughs> <laughs> of course like all the dudes like there was there was not one well, I guess Perry Rowan himself kind of in a 60s way looked okay. Yeah, it was okay. But nobody looked yeah, good. Um, yeah. Nobody looked good. Definitely except for the girls. Yeah, the girls were hot. Yeah, the girls were there hot. There was not a single bad looking girl there. Yeah. So unrealistic. Like, at least have one old lady sitting in, <laughs> in some... Nah. Even the, the at the beginning where they had the conference, yeah, there were two... The, the hot chick. Yes. Yeah. They, yeah, even there they were like, you get a, you're hot, you get in, <laughs> you get in. You don't know acting? Doesn't matter. You, you get, get in. in. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it is a 60s movie through yeah. and through, definitely. And... <laughs> What else, technology-wise, there, there wasn't much else, I guess. Nah, like, there, I don't think there was much left. We covered it all. Uh, yeah, yeah. There wasn't much to cover, like, so. Well, <laughs> I, I guess the, 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 the smartphone with the... Ah, oh, yeah, that was a good thing. Yeah, with the, with the with the screen-by-screen Skype. Screen <laughs> Skype thing. And it looked... Somehow real. In a 60s way, it looked realistic. It looked like a pocket TV. And with this television, you can talk to me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You want sex? Some sex in space? Space sexting. Changing yeah. my costumes? Yeah, yeah. He, like he's on space Tinder. <laughs> Swiping left and right on the screen. He did swipe right once. Oh, yes. He swiped hard on, the, on, the, on Thor. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, thank God, I, I, I read that. The air pur purifier robot. <laughs> that was an amazing technology. Because he couldn't have done it before. Yes. When he was like... Yeah, knocked out. He's like, nope. Then he walks in with Per Road and he's like, oh shit, he, he's here. I could here. have done this. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck, I hope, I hope he doesn't notice. And what he, what the robot basically does, he's like a Dyson air cleaner. He sucks in the, 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 the knockout gas and yeah, it's gone basically. That's it. Why is the gas still hovering in the room, by the way? I have no that idea. That room should have like, some air circulation system. Maybe this doesn't... I don't know. <laughs> doesn't explain. Doesn't yeah. explain at all this movie. Um, then... Oh, we forgot about the sound, by the way. That uh, it wasn't synchronized. Per, like, the original movie was in Italian. Okay. So they had to re synchronize everything. Yeah, we talked about lip synchronization. Yeah, that it was horrible. It was yeah. horrible. Yes, yeah. really shitty. Oh, then the, we had the sex toy belt with the GPS function in it. <laughs> uh, what else? The, I think that, yeah, that basically covers it. it again. Eh. Eh. Yeah. 
And I think we can go on to the uh, last category, and that's final conclusion. All right. What's Melinda, what, <laughs> yes, what did you think of this movie? Would you recommend it to somebody else? And if you would recommend it, under which circumstances should this person watch this movie? Yeah. Like Three questions. No. Well, the well, answer is no. <laughs> Just no. I don't think I'm recommending this to anybody unless yeah. like you really want a list of most fucked up movies on the history. Sci-fi movies. Yeah. That 60s sci-fi movies. If yeah. you're a completionist of 60s sci-fi movies, I guess you have to watch this. Yeah. But and otherwise... Don't. And yes. if, you have, if you have read the book like Paul, yeah. I don't think... Nope, it is you're actually, not going to enjoy this. You're yeah. not going to enjoy this. Most characters are either way worse, different... Or don't exist in the book. It's like yeah. one of those really where where somebody only read like the cover title yeah. <laughs> and like well, and wrote, wrote, made made his own story that fits a movie. Yeah, for I, an blame, hour I blame the plot minutes. as well. I, I, I'm hour and, uh, I, I just ba blame the plot as well. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because maybe with a bit of better direction and a better screenplay, yeah. you, they could have pulled they pull it off. Because they they could have just <clears throat> so. They could have not started with with the moon mission. Yep. They could have would have been would have been really cool is in one of the later books. Well, not really later, like the second or third mm -hmm. book. They go to Venus. Okay. Because in the Perry Roden universe, Venus is a jungle planet. Okay. And there's one Arcanite that's stuck in there. stuck there for six hundred years or something like that, and they rescue him basically. Okay. And he's one of the most prominent uh, characters in the book series itself, Atlan, Atlan the the Arcanite. Okay. And that was that's you could have just shot that in the jungle basically, uh, made the whole movie there yeah. because it had enough adventure, enough sci-fi stuff, enough enough characters, and it you wouldn't have to be with the whole American. Uh, space space exploration thing you could have saved on all that bullshit yeah. you could have saved on going to different locations yeah. you could have shot it all in one location you had, could have had, like make it smaller they really tried to make a huge, huge movie yeah. but they, 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 over, they overstretched themselves and it it goes into different direction yeah. with re really no real payoff like the army They, they, the force field is up again and they're like, oh shit, yeah, no, we, we can just drive away, yeah. basically. <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah. Oh, there's this one guy who gets stabbed. For no, like, I didn't understand that. At all. Part at all. At Why all. was that scene there? Four guys jump out of a car next to the military vehicle and the military guy pulls out his knife and just stabs yeah. him right into and the house. just leave him there. Like, yes. There was nothing about who the fuck they are. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, this is... Wow, wow, wow. It's bad plot writing. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, and yeah. yeah, again, there, there is something good hidden inside it because I read the books and if you have a book series going on for 50 years, yeah. there has to be something there. Of you course. Know? And yeah, they didn't explore nothing. The, the alien ship didn't look like in the books at all. The only thing that's similar is the, the kind of bubble shape, yeah. which... <sighs> the, the, the movie wasn't made to grab audience. Yeah, it was probably a cash grab. Yeah. Cool, flashy poster. Then you get the Perry Roden crowd. Yeah. Done. You have your, <laughs> you have your zero budget movie yeah. back, back in there. Because I think those extras, especially the soldiers who just shot into, into yeah. nothing, I think those were like probably not even paid. <laughs> nah, I, I really doubt so. Like, like you get five African dollars. <laughs> I don't know the currency in Mombasa in 1966. Yeah. Pounds. pounds. Probably pounds. Pounds, yeah, yeah totally. It, yeah, they pay with pounds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then yeah. they were totally against uh, women leading oh, while yes. it was Su the Queen's time. <laughs> Super sexist, yeah. A woman commandeering this ship? Hell no. How is this even possible? <laughs> oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah, but... If you if you would watch it again under which circumstances what 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 would make you watch this again like as Nothing. a prank for somebody <laughs> else where it's like hey I have this really cool Italian sci-fi movie you want to watch it together I would definitely only watch for the chicks man like yeah. the girls yeah. that was the only motivation behind that movie then it's a, like a what, two minute movie yeah <laughs> 
that, that, that's the only good thing I can point it out from this movie. Like, I can't think of anything else why I would watch it. <coughs> All right. Fair enough. Yeah, I think I think we're done here. Yeah. Fuck, fuck this movie. Yeah, fuck, fuck this movie. <laughs> this is definitely one of the worst things we've ever done. Yep. Because it's not campy enough to be really enjoyable. Yeah. Like, it isn't trash enough but not good, en- good it's, enough it's like somewhere uh, in the middle where it's like yeah Neh. yeah especially for 1967 yeah i'll give 4.5 yeah it has a three point something rating okay. on imdb so yeah that it's close enough yeah 3.9 out of okay. 10 yeah so, so yeah Neh. maximum 4.5 yeah all right um Melinda, thank you for being ah, here. Thanks for having me, Paul. Thank you for, for thanks, sitting man. through this mess. You, yep. have, <laughs> you have now time for your plugs. Where can people find you? Where um, uh, where do you have shows? Because ah. you're a stand-up comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm doing a gig tomorrow in Berlin, so not, that's not, not going to be not, not helpful gonna be. at all. <laughs> but yeah, like follow up on Vienna Chuckles. Yes, yes. Vienna Chuckles. You, like have, you have a Twitter or something like that? Yeah, you can find me... Fuck, I forgot my I Twitter. put it in the description below. Yeah, yeah, yeah? That, that, that's going to be good or else, like, yeah. Yeah, but Vienna Chuckles, Melinda is a hilarious upcoming <laughs> uh, stand-up comedian in Vienna. Check him out. He is Thank you. quite funny. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I hope I'm going to have you back for, an, of course. for maybe something better. Most definitely, time. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Um, thanks, guys, for listening in and see you the next time. Bye.